This little crane is the perfect addition to an industrial build. Turn it into a steam crane and it's the perfect addition to a vintage industrial build. We're going to make it. To make this steam crane you will need 81 spruce trap doors, 4 oak trap doors, 15 stone stairs and that's plain stone, 15 grindstones, 27 spruce stairs, 40 fencing of your choice, I like acacia, 9 andesite walls, 2 andesite stairs, 16 acacia trap doors and they must be acacia, 48 stone slabs and that's plain stone not smooth stone, 6 iron bars, 8 note blocks, 7 spruce planks, 10 spruce slabs, 1 lever, 1 waste block and then a load of your choice if you want a load. I've got some logs. We're going to start with the caterpillar tracks. There are two different ways of doing this. I will show you on the one crane. We'll start here. Put down an acacia trap door, fold it up. Come round to the back, count one, two, three and put down your waste block. Grab a grindstone, put it on the waste block and then put two more so that it ends at your trap door. Get rid of your waste block and place one, two, three. Now you have to crouch and click to place grindstones against grindstones. Otherwise, all you do is open up the interface. Come round to the back of your grindstone, put down an acacia trap door, fold it up. Now you shift and click to place acacia trap doors on top of all your grindstones. That's one caterpillar track. All right, we're going to make the next one and I'll show you the slight variation. You can choose which one you want. So we're going to leave a gap of one, two, three between each of our tracks. On the fourth one at the front, same as we did before, trap door, fold it up. Come round to the back and shift and place one, two, three, four, five, six grindstones. Trap door, fold it up and shift click to place trap doors on top of all your grindstones. So that's our two different designs. We've got this one which has a connecting rod in the middle and this one which just has a line of grindstones connected. Choose which one you want. I wouldn't advise leaving the different ones on each. Um, I'm changing it out for that, for that, because that's my favourite. Grab the stone slabs, come to the middle and on one of the caterpillar tracks count back one from the front and shift to place a top half slab. You're going to place four of them so you should have a grindstone sticking out at either end. Now fill in the space in between, come onto the top and place a second row. So these are bottom half slabs and in the middle two slabs. So you end up with a platform with a raised nub. Come up on top of your platform and on top of all your trap doors shift click to place spruce stairs. Do the same on the other side. Now decide which is your back and which is your front. At the back extend the spruce stairs out one more. And now join up in between the rows of stairs at the front and the back. Take the spruce planks at the front, in the front left corner, put two planks. In the back right corner, place four planks and now fill in the rest of the floor with bottom half spruce slabs. That's the base of our crane done. Now we're going to build the walls, I'm going to build them with trap doors. On the back wall, place a row of spruce trap doors and then, and you'll have to shift and jump to do this, one, two, three. Now you should just be able to shift and place three, 
on each of your trapdoor bases. Leave a gap of one, place one more and then two beside it. Fold them all up and there's your back wall. Now if we're standing at the back looking to the front we're going to work on the right hand wall next. So on top of each of your stairs place a spruce trap door. Come to the front and place one and then place two oak trap doors and then finish the row in spruce and do a row of spruce trap doors on top of all the trap doors. Fold them all up. Facing to the front we're going to work on the left hand wall. Coming to the front we're going to place one, two, three. We're going to leave a gap of two and place two more. And now we're going to build this wall up two more. Come to the outside and either side of this gap we're going to place one, two, three spruce trap doors. Fold them up. And if you wonder how I do that hovering and placing, I'm holding shift and the spacebar at the same time. Now we're going to work on the front wall. We're going to place a trap door at either end. We're going to leave these two blank and we're going to put an upside down spruce stair on this second from right block. On top of that we place a spruce plank and on top of that an oak trap door. It should fold up like that. And on top of that we're going to shift place a right way up spruce stair. Now on either of our spruce trap doors at the ends we're going to put one, two, three spruce trap doors. Now two waste blocks in the gap, spruce trap door on top of each and then an oak trap door on top of the leftmost one and a spruce trap door on top of the middle one and then spruce trap doors on top of both and one, two, three spruce trap doors in the middle. Fold them all up to make your front wall and of course get rid of the waste blocks. And that's the walls of the crane finished. We've got a little cab here for the driver. Now for the roof. I'm using stone. If you want to swap this out for another block, by all means. So we're going to place a stone stair on top of the side wall. So you'll have to shift click to do it. Once you've got one in place, it's just a matter of running the stairs all the way along. Do the same on the other side. Now we can fill in the rest of the roof. Place a waste block on top of your front or back wall. You'll need to shift click to do it. And fill in the rest of the roof with bottom half stone slabs. Or slabs to match your stairs. Get rid of the waste block. Finish it off. Now if you are making a steam crane, come to the back of your roof. And in the middle come back one from the edge. Place a stone slab and on top of it a piece of andesite wall. This makes a little steam funnel. Right, let's finish the inside. On the back of our upside down spruce stair that's on the outside, we're going to put an upside down spruce stair on the inside. Facing it, a stone stair, and next to it, an iron bar. That's for a lever and an actual lever for controls. Now on this raised platform at the back we're going to put eight note blocks and again you'll have to shift to place the second row and we're going to put a row of andesite wall going all the way to the front wall. If you're making the steam shovel 
come up to the top front right corner of your generator as you're facing it and shift click place an andesite wall and one on top and that connects your funnel at the top. If you want to hang a lantern in the cab for the driver by all means do so. Let's make the crane part. Come to the gap of two that we have in the front and place your fencing. Now place two more and on top of it another two. We're going to repeat that eight more times. Once you have nine risers in total, place two more fences at the top and on top of those two andesite stairs. And now coming off the andesite stairs without falling, two grindstones. Now pick one of these grindstones to be your crane. Unfortunately, we can't put an iron bar in the middle. Shift click to place an iron bar underneath and then add four more under that to give you a total of five iron bars. One, two, three, four, five. Once you've got your five iron bars, come down, place two waste blocks under it, remove the top one. Now at this point you have to decide which way you want your claw to go. I want my claw so that my load is this direction. So I'm going to turn 90 degrees to my crane and I'm going to place a grindstone on top of that waste block. Uh, leave the waste block in place. Now if you want your claw to face this way so you want your load going that way, just turn this whole thing 90 degrees. So on the side I'm going to place right way up spruce stairs. I'm now going to get rid of that waste block and I'm going to place a spruce slab in between. A waste block goes under each of those stairs. I put a spruce trap door against the waste block and under that I place another waste block. Coming off that waste block, a right way up spruce stair. Remove the waste blocks, fold the trap door up. Let's do the same on the other side. So spruce trap door, waste block under it, spruce stair right way up. Get rid of the waste blocks, fold it up, there is the claw. And that's the crane done. If you want to add in a load it's quite simple. You could put uh, barrels in there if you wanted. Pretend they're crates. I'm going to add logs so I'm going to put waste blocks where I want the logs to go and then I'm just going to run them out. Uh, I've got a little bit of a mix because it just looks better if it's mixed rather than all the same. Get rid of your waste blocks and continue your logs out this side and try to keep them pretty much balanced otherwise it's just going to look odd. There it is, one crane or one steam crane with caterpillar tracks and load. Build this where you want. I'd love to see what you do with it. And if you want to see some more of my tutorials and builds, there's end cards on the screen now. Happy building!